Office Cafe. News, music, and comedy. Few times, and he won't have to quarantine like everyone else when he gets home. Because after all, there's one set of rules for our prime minister and another set of rules for everyone else. But while he was enjoying his wine and cheese back here in Canada, our economy is shedding jobs, supply chains are crumbling, and housing prices are skyrocketing. Instead of trying to impress his celebrity friends, why isn't the prime minister focused on getting Canadians back to work? Yeah, yeah. Honourable minister. Mr. Speaker, if the Conservatives really care about the Canadian economy, if they really care about Canadian workers, and if they really care about Canadian businesses, let me suggest one simple and very practical thing that they can do, and that is support Bill C-30, the Budget Implementation Bill. This essential legislation extends the wage subsidy, rent support, and the CRB. We need it to finish the fight against COVID and to punch our way out of the COVID recession. The Conservatives need to support it. The Honourable Deputy Leader of the Opposition. Well, the Prime Minister is so embroiled in scandal, it's no doubt he's not thinking about the economic storm that's brewing. He's been too busy rewarding his friends at the Wee Foundation, appointing Liberal donors as judges. I'm going to interrupt. I believe we have a, a point of order. Nous avons un rappel au règlement. Yeah, oui, Mr. Are coming through at the same time with the interpretation, so I'm having a hard time hearing. Okay, now is this a problem that other people are experiencing? You're of the opposition. The Prime Minister investigate allegations. It is they have no problem at all taking away money that Canadians desperately need to keep a roof over their head. Why won't this Liberal government do the right thing and stop slashing the benefits that so many Canadians rely on? The Honourable Minister. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And let me just say that if the NDP truly wants to support Canadian workers, let me suggest one simple thing that they can do. Support Bill C-30. This budget bill will extend the income supports to the end of September, and Canadians desperately need that to happen. So, Mr. Speaker, it is by supporting Bill C-30 that we can act together to provide Canadian workers with the support they need to finish the fight against COVID. The Honourable Member for London Fanshawe. The old boys club is at it again. Mm -hmm. While still under investigation, General Vance played a game of golf with senior leaders involved in his investigation. Like Major Kelly Brennan said, Vance believes he's untouchable and owns the military police. The Liberals have had six... Wellington, Halton Hills. Mr. Speaker, the government isn't answering my questions. So I ask again, we know from peer reviewed academic papers, which are public documents, that a Chinese military scientist, Fei Yu Yan, of the People's Liberation Army was granted access to work in the government's Winnipeg lab, a level four facility where the world's most dangerous viruses are handled. How did this individual gain access to the lab in apparent contravention of security policy? Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker, every step of this way, the National Microbiology Lab has been working so hard to protect Canadians through COVID-19. In fact, I want to thank the hardworking lab employees during this, nas this National Week of Recognition of Public Service. In fact, they were one of the first labs in the world to be able to create a PCR test from the original genetic sequence. We have incredible scientists and researchers here in Canada helping to lead the way. The Honourable Member for Wellington, Halton Hills. Mr. Speaker, the government still isn't answering the questions. Another question. According to the WHO's Director General, the G7 discussed the Wuhan lab leak theory last weekend. President Biden has directed U.S. intelligence agencies to report back in late August on whether the pandemic came from human contact with an animal or from a lab accident at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Given that government scientists at the Winnipeg lab closely worked with the Wuhan lab, will the government tell us if they are making available government scientists and their relevant documents, including lab notes, to U.S. investigators? The Honourable Minister. 
Mr. Speaker, like many countries around the world, we have always been clear that we need to understand the origins of COVID-19, and we will work with our international partners to ensure there is a robust and continued investigation into the into the origins of this virus. It is important not just for Canadians, but indeed for the entire world so that we can prevent another epidemic of this kind. Don't forget to like, dislike, subscribe, and comment. Safe Space Cafe. And always, have a good